Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back here with Garden of the Sun. And today I'm going to take a second to uh, to show off my Deadly Nightshade plant again, the Atropa Belladonna. Um, I had this in a previous video where I was just kind of uh, showing off what it was and giving a little bit of an overview about the plant itself um, and what it contains and why it's so special. So today I'm going to be showing you um, how I'm going to be pruning this back. This plant is actually pretty old. Um, it's probably about a year old. Um, when I first grew it, I let it get really tall and, uh, and kind of lanky and, and leggy. Um, so I cut it back pretty significantly. Um, you guys can hopefully see that here where that main stem was cut. And these sprouts came out from there. So all of this growth, and I've actually cut it back before already, has come within the last month, really. Um, so I'm going to give this guy a little bit of a trim. Some of these leaves are getting pretty large for, for what I want. And the reason I'm going to be cutting those off is to allow for new growth so we can get some new, uh, new leaves forming and get this looking uh, more like a little tree. That's kind of the idea for it. It seems kind of silly to bonsai something like this, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and, uh, and see how it comes out. I think it'll be pretty neat. So I keep all of my scissors sterilized at all times. I just keep them in a jar with some rubbing alcohol. Um, and for this plant in particular, I am going to be wearing just a, a latex glove. This guy can cause irritation to the skin um, if you touch it directly. And I just want to avoid any any potential reaction there. Um, it's pretty unlikely. It's it's generally safe to handle, and I say that cautiously um, because there are a lot of stupid people out there that really don't know what they're doing. Um, and when you're handling plants like this, you do need to be really careful. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just cut off some of the larger leaves on this one here. Um, we're going to start off with this guy in the back, and we're gonna just go down. Let's see if I can get this as close to the stem as possible. So, pretty standard pruning practice. And we're just gonna cut these back. I'm gonna let those drop for now. Now, when you're pruning deadly nightshade, you want to be very, very careful to dispose of the leaves properly. If you've got a composting bin, feel free to throw them in there. Don't leave them out somewhere where your pets or your kids can get to them. Even the leaves contain very high amounts of alkaloid atropine and scopolamine, um, which will cause hallucinations, smooth muscle paralysis, um, all kinds of nasty shit that you don't want anything to do with. Um, so one other thing to remember while you're pruning, depending on what you're going for, take these leaves at the bottom. These guys are almost sitting on the ground. And you really don't want that. There's no purpose for those leaves. It's not going to help with apical dominance at all. Um, it's just going to keep the plant low to the ground. And that's not what I want in this case. So we're going to just take these off. I'm not worried about getting flawless cuts on this. This isn't going to be used for anything. This is just a little show plant. Something that I've got just because I find it interesting. Snip. Okay. Let's go back in here, and we don't need you, and spin this around, and take a look. Now, Deadly Nightshade is actually pretty easy to grow. It's a relative of the pepper. Um, something a lot of people don't know is that nightshade is in the same family. Oh man, look at that. That's a nasty, ugly cut. That was not good. Oopsies. There we go. So some of the smaller leaves I'm just going to leave in the soil and let those uh, decompose and break down as I water the plant. Um, but back to what I was saying, deadly nightshade is a relative of the pepper plant. So your bell peppers, your hot peppers, your super hots, um, they're all in the same family. And you can see the leaves look really similar. It might actually be pretty hard to tell one of these guys apart 
in the garden if they were to be growing side by side. So if you're ever growing any deadly plants like this or any plants that uh, are harmful or toxic, uh, keep them away from your vegetables. It's pretty obvious, pretty common sense. Um, but I mean, it's so easily misidentified. The leaves look exactly like my pepper plants. Um, as a matter of fact, I will show you guys uh, real quick. Just give me just a second and I'll show you how similar this is to a pepper plant just in looks alone. So this is down here a new little shoot sprouting. So I am going to leave that and let that grow. Other than that, we're going to chop down that one. Cut there. And cut there. And there we go. We're all pruned up. This is about as much as I'm going to cut off of this guy. Looks pretty ugly right now. Actually, you know what? I lied. I don't like this leaf. You can see it's kind of deformed and therefore undesirable. All right. So now we've got our deadly nightshade all pruned up. And uh, I will give you guys updates on this as it grows. Um, so we're going to, like I said, be careful with these leaves. Keep them all in one spot. You don't want any of that getting around your house. As a matter of fact, when I'm done here, I'm actually going to take um, just a cotton swab and some rubbing alcohol and just go over this uh, this surface here and re-sterilize it just to be safe. All right, I'm going to go grab one of my pepper plants so I can show you guys just how close they look to this nightshade. Okay. Grab this. And I'm gonna grab a lilac bell pepper. Okay. So, here we have our lilac bell. This guy's been growing for uh, about a month now. Um, looking really, really good, looking really healthy. Great coloring in these leaves. Um, but you can see the shape and the vein of the leaf is very similar. If these guys were sitting next to each other in your garden, you would have no idea the difference. I wouldn't either, but you can tell as the nightshade grows and matures, it will start to turn a deep purple through the stem, and uh, instead of forming peppers, it will form um, these dark, dark purple black berries with purple flowers. Um, the berries are incredibly sweet. They are the deadliest part of the plant, like I mentioned in my last video, so something to be careful around. All right, so I've trimmed up my nightshade. It looks good, and I will give you guys an update. I will either post some photos or uh, take another video and uh, give you guys an update on this in about two to three weeks. Um, it's growing pretty fast, so I uh, look forward to seeing you guys then. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for what's next. I've got a couple other videos I'll be posting in the next few days on some of my other peppers and a few things that I'm planning for summer. Thanks again for watching, guys.